Welcome to the Odd Jobs Workshop. A friend suggested we go to dinner, and he said he would arrange for transportation. We're riding in a Waymo One self-driving Chrysler Pacifica van. We're in Tempe, Arizona, going to a restaurant about 2.5 miles away. The plexiglass separating the passengers from the driver compartment is causing the reflections in the video. The video doesn't include the complete trip, and the voiceover was done later and not while the video was being recorded. You use the Waymo One app to arrange a ride as you would do an Uber ride. Unlike Uber, Waymo One is only available in a limited area in the southeastern suburbs of Phoenix. As a passenger, the ride feels like a human driver. No obvious hesitations or indecisiveness. There are some geographical details that are curious. The car passed our friend's house and stopped two houses away to pick us up. At the restaurant, the car stopped at what seemed to be a random location in the parking lot about 30 feet away from the door. Not an obvious GPS location or a place where a human driver would drop off passengers. Later in the video, I'll show a better picture of the video screen. For now, note what looks like mist that appears at the edge of the screen. That is trees along the road. There's a baby seat in the third row, so there are only three seats available for other passengers. There is a camera in the car watching the passengers, and a Waymo One employee can speak to the passengers to address any issues like more than three passengers or someone not wearing a seatbelt. Here's a better view of the video screen. The blue rectangles are other cars, of course. Note the traffic light indicator on the screen showing the red light ahead. It's not obvious in the video, but when the car making the left turn in front moves and then stops, our car does brake a little hard. We're turning onto a side street with less traffic. Watch out the windshield as the car we're following turns off. The approaching car has the left turn signal on. You'll see my camera jerk down as our car hits the brakes. On the video, note the orange ring around our car and the orange border on the turning car. The other car turns left behind us. Presumably our car thought the other car was going to turn in front of us. From my vantage point in the rear seat, I couldn't see what our car's sensors might have detected. In the video, the flash of orange ring around our car and the other car obviously has something to do with the conflict. There's no obvious reason to show this to the passengers. Could this be an indicator for the software developers to study the situation to improve the technology? So except for the hard braking, the ride was smooth and uneventful. And without a better view, I can't claim a human driver would have done better. The technology is very impressive. I don't know why it's only available in a limited area. Perhaps it needs more detailed map data, like a specified stopping point for each address. That's what it seemed like at the restaurant. The technology works well for a taxi service application, going from one GPS location to another. I expect a version that can handle all the more complicated things a person does with their own car is still in the future. But there's no question that this technology is going to be part of our future.
On this Waymo car, you can see sensors on the front grille, front fender, top rear corner, and roof. Thanks for watching. Sorry the video quality wasn't better.